Good morning, my beautiful kings and queens. It is Friday, April 10th, 2015. It's kind of chilly out here this morning, so hopefully you bundled up. Kings and queens, someone proposed me with the question the other day, and I'm a little stuck on it. I was asked, was I trying to racially unite or racially incite? Well, honestly, I feel that my goal is to racially unite. Now, in the process of doing that, some people will be incited, i.e. upset, because based on the history of America, it is not good when it comes to black and white people. But I want us to try and get past that. And that is ultimately impossible. It's impossible to happen until certain people realized, realize they were born into a certain type of privilege. And it does not matter if you never break a law, or what if you never get into any trouble. Part of the reason for that being is the police don't even suspect you of doing anything wrong. And that's just how it is. For those of you who did not like the video that I posted earlier this week or yesterday and decided to get on my page calling me a racist, a dumb bee, being... I just think quite disrespectful. You know, guys, you don't have to watch my videos. You really don't. Because at the moment, they're not for everybody. I, I, you know, I would want them to be, but unfortunately they can't be, especially when we're talking about a subject as touchy as race, race relations, all of this mess that's going on in America. So for those of you who that, who think that I'm a racist, please remove yourself from my page and just don't watch Sandy Speaks. Sandy Speaks does not promote racism. Sandy Speaks does not promote going out there and killing all white people. I don't know if you, those of you who feel that I'm a racist, didn't see a couple weeks ago me walking around a, a Fox Valley Mall holding a sign that I spent my money on, took time out to make that said, all white people are not against us. Because I don't truly feel that way. But for those of you who cannot accept and acknowledge the white privilege that you were born into no fault of your own but just accept it and know that yes black people are going to be mad when we see things like general like our brothers being gunned down murdered and for those of you who can say oh well why was he running he why was he breaking the law let's just flip the script and if that was your uncle and he ran do you think he would have got shot eight times in the back Probably not. They might have got him in the leg. I am not a racist. I'm going to share a little bit of y'all of something with y'all. For so long, I was so misguided and confused. I thought that the only way to have pretty kids would be to marry a white person. Yes. Ooh. My mind was so messed up. But I see clearer now. There are kings and queens in all of us. But at the moment, the people who truly need to be realizing their kingdom and queendom are my black brothers and sisters. I'm sorry. So for those of you who are uncomfortable, who don't want to hear a positive message aimed towards the brown. You don't have to watch it. I am not against white people. To be successful in this world, you have to know how to work with white people. But what Sandy Speaks wants to do is let my kings and queens know, you can do it. We can be successful. It is up to us. I love you all dearly. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a successful and prosperous day. Do what is necessary to establish your kingdom and queendom and just be great. Go out there and be the greatest thing that you can, and I guarantee you it will turn your life around. Sandy Speaks.